What it do, my moochin? Good morning. I'm sure they can see it's not morning and the sun is actually setting. This is actually the sun. The sun what? Sun. sun sunrise. This is not the sunrise because they know I'm not up that early. <laughs> anyway, it's Travel Tip Tuesdays, guys. Yes. <laughs> so today we wanted to talk about the top three mistakes people make on cruises. Three mistakes. Three mistakes? Three mistakes. Yeah, you look so serious when you say that. Because when it's a mistake, you're not ha 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 ha. What, what is ha 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 ha? Like laughing. Ha 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 I don't know who laughs like that besides <laughs> evil genius or scientist or madman. Anywho. All right, my mooches. Now, moving on from this mad woman over here, we're going to get into mistake number one, which is paperwork. Or should I say missing paperwork? And this is something that happens to everybody at some point, including us, mm -hmm. from this last cruise. Yes, indeed. And the reason it happened to us was because we both believe that the other person did the paperwork, did the check-in process. Being that somebody was on the site constantly, every day, looking at excursions. Being that... I'm the first and the newest one, not the first, the newest one to cruises, and he's always been doing that piece of the paperwork. No, 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 no. Yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. you're not new. This is not your first or second or third I know, cruise. I know, but I have never done the paperwork, so my assumption was my baby is a master on the paperwork for cruises, so let him do it. <laughs> oh, my assumption was somebody was looking at excursions for the past two months before the cruise, so maybe they might have gone and done the check-in process. Yeah. Anyway, so there is a process that you have to do before you board your cruise, and that's the check-in. Same way you check in for a flight before your flight, you gotta check in for your cruise. After you check in, you'll be printing all your documents out afterwards, and this is what you're gonna use to board your ship. Yes, but note, when you're checking in for your flight, you usually do it 24 hours before your flight. For the cruises, it's completely the opposite. 24 hours, the check-in process is canceled online. <laughs> so you have to do it at least five days before your cruise. At least five days. You can check in at least a month in advance, actually. I just remember five days. <laughs> oh, okay, five days. Anyway, guys, so check in as soon as you possibly can. So this way you can print out all your paperwork that you need when you get down there to the port. So your check-in process at the port is smooth and quick and you'll be on the boat. You'll be on the boat. You'll be on the boat. You'll be on the boat before you know it. <laughs> Also guys, just make sure to bring the proper identification that you're going to need for your cruise along with the check-in documents that you took care of prior to getting to the port. Okay guys, now <laughs> leading to mistake number two, bring your proper clothes. And I know you have already watched our video on what to pack for a cruise. If you haven't, link below, above. <laughs> Is it down there? <laughs> Above, above, I have problems with directions, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, video's over there. <laughs> Hopefully. Bring your proper clothes for excursions, for activities, anything that you're gonna do in the cruise and on the ports, but also don't forget that the AC gets really chilly even if you're going to the Caribbean or sometimes you had hot tops for those winter places. Yes, so definitely refer to our video for more details about those things. Now, Mamuchins, mistake number three. Tres, something. I don't know any other languages, so I'm just throwing up three fingers. Trois. Trois? Trois. What's trois? Tres. From where? French. Is it? Oh my God. I just said <laughs> I didn't know any other languages. It hurt me. Anyway, <laughs> mistake number three is not doing research on the ports that you're visiting. We all want to make sure that we enjoy the most out of every port that we visit. And the problem is if you don't do your research, you have no idea how far anything is from the docks that you're about to leave. So it could take you a pretty long time to get somewhere. And the problem with that is that it could conflict with any excursions you have planned, any activities that you want to do, or the time it takes just to go back and forth to get to the boat so that you don't get left behind and uh -oh. and uh -oh. the money that you can save when you do good research you can find better deals you can find cheaper prices in excursions or anything that is available so believe me it can save you money on those ports yes that's actually true okay I I'll let that one go thank you I'll let that one go 
Yeah, do your research. You save money on finding an excursion that you want to do for a better price or even transportation to get back and forth. Because yeah. sometimes the cruise shuttle might be a little bit more expensive and you might have to pay for it. It might not be free, whereas you can find a cheaper shuttle on, on at the port. Now, we do have a bonus tip. Our bonus mistake, just, you know, let's just go with bonus. That, that's always good, right? A bonus. A bonus. A bonus. And the bonus here we want to talk about, our bonus mistake, however you want to put it or word it, it's the beverage package. Now, this is pretty important because we all want to have a good drink on the cruise, yep. but we don't want to spend too much money. So you want to make sure that you're getting the most out of money that you're going to spend or not spend. Mm -hmm. Maybe like us, you're not that big of a drinker. You might have one or two cocktails every other day or every three days, so that's why we didn't purchase it. We're yeah. not heavy drinkers, we're not partiers, we're not in a large group, so we didn't need the beverage package. And I know what you guys are thinking. You guys are thinking, come on, we know Maria drinks beer and wine all the time. Yeah, they're right. Yes, and you're right. But you can bring two bottles of wine with you on board. So that supplies for the wine that I need throughout the trip. Yeah. But if you like sodas like Coke, Sprite, and you like coffee like espresso, and then you like your cocktails and things, you are much better off with that beverage package. Yeah. So make sure you decide how often you're going to utilize the beverage package if you want to purchase it. If you're going to be drinking those drinks, if you have children that love their soda, then yeah, you might want to purchase the beverage package. Or you can be like me who enjoys the lemonade because I believe there's crack inside that lemonade. I never liked lemonade before until I went on a Royal Caribbean cruise and tried the lemonade and now I'm addicted. Let me tell you, he drinks more lemonade than I drink wine and beer combined. That's actually true yeah <laughs> uh, yeah the lemonade the watermelon juice the mango juice yeah the juices do fine by me and i get my one or two cocktails here every other day so we hope these tips slash mistakes help you actually avoiding those mistakes that most people do yeah that sentence made sense some way somehow you got me right yeah I, you I, got I, me i hope so <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, that's going to do it for us. We really do hope this video helped you to avoid those mistakes that are commonly made when going on a cruise. So give this video a like if you like not making mistakes. If these tips or slash mistakes help you avoid the mistakes that people commonly make on a cruise. Or if you like the fact that I proved that it's not a sunrise because I'm becoming invisible here at nighttime. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to Travel More, and as always, remember to live the life you want, love the life you live, and travel. I'm just out.